Okay, so um, I, I decided to do a, a third and final installment of Laundry Day, um, just to sort of show how it all kind of ended up today. Um, yeah, let's turn this around. Um, yeah, so as I said, um, you know, if we look up there, the, the sun is disappearing behind the shoulder of the mountain there. It's um, 12.05. Um, just two hours after I did the last um, segment. Um, so we, we've lost the sun on, the, um, on our laundry. Um, now as if we look up closely, uh, we actually didn't do too bad. Um, the, the sheet did the best. Um, this here where I'm touching, that's um, close to bone dry. Um, a little bit Sorry, a little bit damp around the edges. Um, the, the underwear did not too bad. Uh, thick things like the bands are going to take a lot longer. Um, the socks are very thick, um, still very damp. I, as you can see, I can still squeeze water out of those. Um, the problem, as I explained, was, um, you know, I, I can't control what goes on up there. Um, I had this stubborn band of cloud right where the sun, the, the arc of the sun went. And, you know, and if we look around, um, you know, there's not a cloud in the sky anywhere else. So I just kind of lost the luck of the draw there. This, this little stubborn band of cloud right where the sun was. Um, so for that two hour drying period, the sun kind of played peekaboo with the clouds. Um, I never really got um, a very long sustained um, period of, of direct sun on my laundry. Um, but when I did, uh, and, and even standing as I was, you know, wringing it out with my back to the sun, I could feel the warmth of the sun um, quite well. And, and the, the laundry actually got, the, especially the seat, got warm to the touch. Um, so... You know, if, the, if there had been um, direct sun, like, you know, up there on that mountain, uh, we, we would have got a much more effective drying, um, uh, much more effective drying. But, um, but we didn't today. Um, I'll, I'll probably pull the laundry. I'll, I'll leave it out till, um, you know, for the rest of the day. It'll, it'll continue to sort of air dry very, very slowly, but, but some drying will still occur. Um, it won't dry out today, that's for sure. Uh, if I leave it out tonight, it'll, it'll all be frozen solid overnight. So I'll pull it in overnight. And, um, and then we'll try again tomorrow. Um, you know, just briefly again about the sun. Um, you, you know, when, you, you know, off the grid living, um, you know, you absolutely have to work with the sun. Um, it, it's a big part of the uh, appeal of off-the-grid living is, um, you know, you're we're returning to, you know, you work within the natural rhythms of nature. You work with what nature gives you. Uh, that's what we evolved for. Um, that's how humans existed for, um, you know, literally tens of thousands of years, hundreds of thousands. Um, you know, you lived within the nature of, of the rhythm of nature. And, you know, and here's some more. And a beautiful sky up there. Um, and, and off the grid living pretty much returns you to that. Now, a big part of off the grid living, if you talk to people who do it, is, um, um, you know, we, we used to refer, to refer to it as getting away from the rat race. Um, and what, what it really is, and especially with my condition, is getting away from stress. And when we return to our natural rhythms, um, you know, the way nature kind of designed us, evolution designed us, um, a lot of that stress goes away. Um, and, and I'm certainly feeling that, and I'm going to talk about that more in a future segment. So over and out for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.